All right, what is up traders? What's up tycoons? Super excited for today's video. We're going to be bringing another update to Alluvium. This is the ILV token. Um, and, you know, we do have this bullish uh, chart pattern forming here known as a falling wedge. And, you know, if it plays out, we would see a nice pop. All right, but there's a lot of work for it to be done. As you can see, we have that level 64.54. I said if we're below there, uh, we're going to be bearish. All right, I mentioned that once we got the breakdown from here. So we're going to look for a, a, a retest and then a continuation lower is most likely what was going to happen. We did have something known as bullish divergence where you're creating lows and then lower lows on the price action, right? So clearly a downtrend, but on the RSI, your relative strength index, we had a low and then we had an equal low. Um, so, you know, we maintained relative strength as price was heading lower and we saw a nice push up there, but rejected that 64.54 level. So I'm going to break down, um, you know, how I come up with all of this stuff, why this level was so important um, and, you know, go over, you know, the possible different scenarios that we could have on Alluvium coming here soon. So make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Before we go any further, the content provided on this YouTube channel is for informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to be relied upon as legal, financial, or investment advice. Myself and any individuals that appear in this YouTube channel are not registered financial advisors or brokers. Trading in stocks, bonds, commodities, and crypto involve a significant risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. So be sure to read through the full disclaimer before moving forward. And we'll go ahead and hop into it. And um, so I mentioned that bullish divergence, right? So not only, um, you know, did did we get the pop there off of that bullish divergence and reject this level, um, take a look at what happened shortly after that, right? What happened was we broke that bullish divergence trend line that we had right here. So this was going to be another possible bounce area we were looking for, right? So we got the rejection here. That was a clear warning sign. OK, and then once we broke through here, that was another clear warning sign as well that things were going to continue to head lower. And look what happened is we actually came down. We broke through and retested that level. All right. And then continued to drop as well on the RSI. So, you know, there were a couple of warning signs that we we're going to head lower. Now, how did I come up with these levels? Right. What these are is these are the three most common and well-respected Fibonacci retracement levels. OK, so uh, you use them because nothing moves in a straight line down or in a straight line up. You get a move up retracement continuation higher or you would get a move down retracement continuation lower. Right. And so we can see here that we had the boom, one, two, three really bullish wave count right there. All right. And so what we did was we took our swing low. We connected it up here to our swing high. And we said, if we pull back to these levels, this is all healthy retracement territory to possibly hit our bullish price targets to the upside. Right. And if we break below those major levels, that's when you're going to be bearish below and you can possibly spot a reversal, right? Because not only do the FIBs help you identify that trend continuation, they also help you identify reversals, right? So if you move up, retrace, and you start to consolidate and break through those retracement levels, most likely you're going to see some type of a downside reversal, right? And so you can see we came through here, we started consolidating, and then we came up, rejected it, and continued heading lower, all right? So... Um, you know, that's something that I'm paying attention to right now. Now we are, have been bouncing off of this bottom trend line here uh, and holding it. So, you know, there still is some hope, but things could continue lower, even if we just trend along this trend line here. Uh, the main areas that we're going to be targeting right now is going to be right in through here. Okay, so if you can see, this is our demand zone that we have a little bit right now, uh, where we consolidated uh, price action, broke out, retested this, and then was able to push up higher. Uh, if we break through there, right, I mean, our, our next levels uh, really aren't going to be uh, uh, until down here. So we need to be pretty cautious if we end up breaking through this demand zone and breaking through that trend line. Most likely that's going to take us back down to that 40 to $35 area uh, on, on Alluvium. Uh, so pay close attention to that right now if we do end up getting the breakout we still are going to be bearish below 64.54 that's a major resistance level now all right so we need to break back above there and above 64.54 we have 72 77 and 81 dollars right those are going to be some strong resistance levels um you know ultimately that will need to really break out past uh, in order for us to get this rising wedge to play out if the rising wedge plays out in a perfect world scenario it's going to take you up here to where the pattern began all right. And that's going to be anywhere from that ninety five to one hundred dollar region on a strong breakout. Now, we aren't getting any signs of a breakout. The pattern's not confirmed yet. It's just forming a confirmation would be a breakout retest and then push up higher. Uh, and we'd look to see, you know, if we can possibly hit that ninety five to one hundred dollar price level. Um, be very mindful of a look above and fail. Right. And so the reason that that's important is because essentially on a breakout, 
buyers have the full opportunity to take advantage. And if we dip back down and they don't buy on the retest of the trend line here, OK, um, that's going to be super significant because what it's going to show you is that even when presented the opportunity to push price higher, the bulls and the buyers didn't take advantage of that. And it's going to show you that the sellers are actually in control on the false breakout. And it's going to be a bearish signal that, you know, most likely we're going to come back into this range here and push to the bottom end of the range, if not break through it. Um, you know, so really, that's all of the major things that I'm paying attention to right now when it comes to Alluvium, ticker symbol ILV. I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is the Tangem wallet. Okay. Now Tangem uh, looks just like a regular credit card. All right. But it is actually a cold multi-currency crypto wallet. Um, it's super easy to set up. Only takes about one to three minutes. Uh, all you have to do is scan and activate, set up the password, and you can start making transactions. If you don't know by now, you can't really trust these exchanges, guys. If it's not your keys, it's not your crypto. Um, and you know, What's awesome about this is that all you have to do is download the app on the Google Play Store or the Google App Store, uh, and you can buy, you know, they're sold in packs of two or three cards, right? And the additional cards are used as backup, right? So, you know, when you look at traditional other hardware wallets, um, there's no really backups that you can have. Now with Tangem, you get multiple cards for the same wallet. So you do have backup options, right? Let's say something terrible happens to uh, your main one that you're using and you end up losing it or uh, it gets damaged or, or something like that, right? You'll still actually have those other backups. Uh, if you buy two, you'll have one more backup. And if you buy three, you'll have two additional backups and you can store those somewhere safe and secure in a separate place, um, you know, away from the main one that you're using at the moment. Uh, what's also really nice is that it's DeFi compatible, guys. So you can exchange, buy NFTs, make loans and deposits, more than 100 decentralized applications with the help of Wallet Connect. Uh, when you go to make your purchase, use code exactly, okay? That will get you a discount. The price point is much more favorable as well on the Tangent Wallet than some of the more popular name brands. All right. Um, they're much more affordable and using the discount code exactly will also get you a discount on top of that and uh, really make things nice and affordable for you guys to keep your crypto secure, compatible with over 2,729 cryptocurrencies at the moment. All right. And it's also completely waterproof. So, you know, if this thing does get completely submerged in water, you can rest assured that it still will work. It's also freeze proof and temperature resistant as well. Uh, so, you know, lots of great features about the Tangem app uh, and the Tangem wallet. I highly recommend getting one for yourself. All right. Download the app today on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and use that code exactly so that you guys can get a discount while also supporting the channel.